Hello, what's up, and welcome to my channel. I'm Javier Flemeyer, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how I put together that gimmick that let me do everything you saw in the intro. If you want a chance to win the very gimmick we're gonna make here today, make sure you're subscribed to the channel, you like the video, and you leave a funny comment, and I will choose a person at random next week, and I will ship it to you anywhere in the world. I've always liked the mystery card plot, but one of the reasons I don't perform them as much is because I have to do the Mercury card fold and then I can't use a stack deck, any trick that really uses the full deck. So I've always wanted to have a way to do those style of tricks using just a regular flat card with no Mercury card fold. And then I learned that it had actually way more uses than the one that I had originally intended it to. And we'll start by using a piece of duct tape that's roughly the same size of a card. And you're gonna take your your magnets and just attach them so you have six magnets like that. Then I took a coffee sleeve, I unglued it, flip this over and stick it onto its back. Make sure none of the tape is protruding and try to put it as close to the bottom arc of the coffee sleeve as you can because we're going to be putting the thread up here and we don't want it to go through the stickiness of the duct tape. Push it down. You want to almost push them through these ridges so that the magnet on the other side doesn't have to fight against the cardboard. Next, we're gonna take our rubber cement or double-sided stick tape, any sticky that you have, and you're, we're going to place it on the face of your card. This is going to stick the magnets and then is going to help stick the face of the coffee sleeve. While it dries there, I'm going to take two pieces of tape, one first and I'll fold the piece over. That way I have somewhere to grip and I'm going to put it in place. Notice how it doesn't protrude the top of the edge and I'll do the same on this side. This is going to ensure that it doesn't move and it always stays in place. Now that the rubber cement is dry, I can take the magnet and drop it from nearby where I think the magnet underneath is. And you'll see that it'll just lock in place. I usually go from for the sides first and then for the ones in the middle. Now that the magnets are in place, just take your other piece and cut it just like this. We just need the face. If you know anything about splitting cards, this is gonna be the same. See here, I found a little cord Corner that I can start splitting. I'm going to put the thinnest piece against the table and I'm going to start peeling away. Let's just pull it up like this. Now that we have the very thin little piece, we can take our rubber cement. Once you have this ready, you can let it rest for a couple minutes. Then you just pretend you're putting it right on top like this, and then it's going to match. Now we're going to take our little tabs and unstick the card. We'll get rid of the tapes just like this. Notice how there's nothing underneath here, but we're gonna use this little piece to cover that up. If we turn this over and we cut that, we cut this, we can then place it right on there just like this and place that one on there just like that. Then we'll turn it over and then we'll trim it so that it looks nice and pretty. There. I'm doing mine pretty rough. You take your time if you want to do yours. I already have a pretty nice gimmick over here. This card is going to magnetically attach perfectly to your coffee sleeve. And we're pretty much done. Now we're going to take our thread and put it through our needle just like this. I'm going to cut off a little more than I need just so I have room to tie the knot. You want to puncture with your needle about two fingers apart from each other right in the center. That way the line is hidden behind the coffee cup. I like to put it against the table and then one little push and it's gonna go right through. And then I'm gonna do the same thing, about two fingers off to the side and then we'll place that here and push through. Careful with your fingers. If you're under 18, ask a parent to help you do this. And you don't really want to tie this very tightly. You want it kind of soft. That way the card can stretch all the way underneath below the coffee cup. We're going to leave a lot of room for the that elastic to stretch. So I'm not gonna put any tension there and I'm going to do another knot. Again, I'm not adding any tension to that there. Now I will tie those knots a little bit. I will add a little tension just to make sure they're tight and I will cut off the excess. Give it 
a few little stretches, bring it back, let it come back just like that. And we're almost ready. Just a little bit of rubber cement right on there. And I like to put also on this side, make sure you let that rest. And then you're going to be able to close it up, put a little pressure to make sure it does adhere, set it aside for a couple of minutes, maybe 10, 15 minutes to make sure everything is glued and put together before you actually put it onto your coffee cup. One more thing that I did is I bent it inwardly pretty much the same way that it's going to be going inside of the cup. That way the magnets stick. In order to make your gimmick work, you're going to need to have something heavy inside. Of course, coffee, liquid will work. I just have rubber cement, but that is going to help your cup stay underneath with the tension of the elastic. Now you see how this is coming down. You're just going to need to pull it up a little bit so that it has the grip and the tension of the cup, and then it's going to stay there perfectly. All you have to do is pick the cup up in from the same side that that elastic is at, and you will see that the card is going to hide underneath your hand. It may not go perfectly and attach on there. That's okay. Your hand is there to cover everything. But notice that what I'm doing is I'm picking it up while tilting it towards the audience. What that does is it hides that card, even if it's showing up underneath. You're then going to be able to have whichever card you've switched out. And then you have all the time in the world to press that into the cup. Or what I like to do is add as I pass it onto the other hand, I grab everything and then I hold it this way. And then that hides everything. So now everything can be shown. Not that you need to. So once again, very quickly, we have the card underneath and all we're doing is just picking up the cup and that card is going to hide. Now, in this case, it's almost like palmed already in my hand. So from here, as I transfer it, I just move it up and have it stick. Now, all we have to do is put it together with the palmed card. So if this is here, we'll take any card like this, we'll put it in palm. And now as we pick this up, we just pick up the card. I just pretended to pick the card up. Really, my favorite way of doing this is actually just sliding the card forward. So this would be in palm. And as you pick this up, you're going to use this hand to push the card forward like that. So very, very simple in speed. It looks something like uh, like this. So go ahead, check that out. Make sure that's normal. And here I didn't really do it right. So I wouldn't show this. I would actually just keep it there as they're turning that over and then I would fix it. Now you don't really have to show this. It's really okay. If you want to end clean as they're turning this over and reacting, you can just remove the sleeve and put it away. If you have another sleeve, you can slip it on there if you'd like. But honestly, nobody is going to care about the coffee cup. I have never stolen the sleeve off. I always just leave it there and I continue to drink. It is my coffee anyway. I'm going to pause the video here real quick. I just noticed I didn't teach two of my favorite things. So I'm going to show them to you now here as I'm editing this. Basically what it is, is having the card from cop. It uses no moves at all. So there's no producing that card. You just slide the card forward with the thumb. So if we put it together like this, boom, it'll just come forward. And again, this is supposed to be done in the offbeat when they're not really looking for a switch. They're not, they don't even think a switch is going to happen. So we just lift this up as we kind of drop that and just continue to push it with our thumb. The idea is to have the hand not do any weird moves so that it looks as natural as possible. And the other thing is simulating picking the card up like this. A lot of people are used to picking the card up like that. So if we take that to our advantage here to switch this card, we're going to come forward. That's my cat, by the way. <laughs> we're going to come forward and slide this as we turn it over. And it's just going to almost look as if we're grabbing that card to flip it over. And that's pretty much the switch. Let's go back to the video. I've also been playing with the idea of taking the card and placing it under the cup like this, but really it's just a switch. So that's the actual gimmick. Um, I'm not very good at it, but let me show you just in case this is useful for you. You would take the card, it comes over and we're going to start move, pivoting it, it in as I take that, 
gimmick and just place it inside. Now, when I do that, I like to use these two fingers to lift the sleeve up to make sure that it actually stays and it doesn't slide down. And then this would go away. Then you could take any card. So one thing that I like to do, if this is, let's say, in stack, and they name, let's say, the Queen of Hearts, I know that's gonna be 11. So let's say I get to the 11. This is not in stack, but I would get this, let's say, into cop, right? From cop, you would be able to now come over and pretend to pick that card up and do a switch, which is perfect if you have, let's say, an index that delivers any card at all pretty much instantly into cop within just seconds. That is one of the reasons I came up with this. I wanted to use it alongside decks. If any of you follow Lloyd's channel, which thank you so much, Lloyd, for helping me out so much with this channel, motivation wise and tips and everything. So thank you so much, Lloyd. But if you follow him, you definitely know about decks and we're working on decks. I wanted to be able to place any card under a coffee cup, have you name any card in instantly, have them turn it over and then it's their card. Now, I want you to remember that I am using just playing cards, but you can put on here absolutely anything you want. This could even be a bill, a flappable bill. Let's say you have a $20 bill that will flap inside so it can be underneath. Instead of having a card vanish or switch, you have a bill or a billet if you're into mentalism. There's many things you can do. And as you saw, you can even have a card go through glass if you want. If you've liked this video and you want to see more, make sure you like the video, you subscribe, maybe hit the bell so you get notified whenever I post another video. I don't even know if they do that, but I will see you next time.